In 2007, many economists believed satellite tech firms and the navigation market would struggle. Innovative solutions, however, are helping the industry regain strength. I'm joined by David Vernek of Hungary-based NNG, brand owners of iGo, to discuss tech innovation and the global demand for navigation products. David, welcome. Thank you, Nick. Introduce us to NNG and your history of expansion. Well, the company was established at the end of 2004 without any intention whatsoever to make a big company or a big success story, just with the need to solve our need for solution. The existing solutions for navigation were not good enough for us, and we were looking for a better solution that we couldn't find. That is why we decided to create our own company. We made the first global product by March 2006, where we introduced it in Sebit, in Hanover, and it was quite funny because we, we were four people coming to this big hall between the big giants of navigation, telling we are the best and everybody laughed at us, what are these little kids doing here between the big guys? But we came with a nice slogan, all Europe in less than one gigabyte. And that was a big shock to the industry. Memory cards were very expensive at that time. Everybody came to us, started blaming us for cheating, deceiving, misleading the people, eliminating layers from the maps and a, a, big, a big and long list. But we came prepared for that, so we told them Guys, we really appreciate the fact that you caught us, but please do me a favor. Here is an SD card with all Europe in less than one gigabyte. Please drive it around and just tell me where I cheated. And everybody took the cards. They went driving in Hanover in the afternoon. The following morning they came. Let's talk. During Civit itself, we won all the prizes, the best product of the year and the best product of the industry. And two weeks after that, we won the best big major product with, and contract with the Mio MyTac. In October 2006, we were already number three in the world for navigation solutions. Since that, most of the big companies came after us. We started doing a lot of, lot of uh, projects and projects, doing basically with PND. That was the main market for, for the world at that time. And that was until 2008 when we made a big revolution and big change. So talk us through your key products in a bit more detail. Navigation solution is based on software, hardware and content. We do the software. Our ability and our strength is the ability to take any hardware that is in the market and integrate into it, to take any operating system and integrate into it, to take any content. We use more than 140 content providers and we can integrate and do basically anything that the car manufacturers or the customer wants us to do. We are in a way the wet dream of the car manufacturer by being able to make all his wish list. We can take any map globally and integrate it in the software so the car manufacturer can make one car for the whole world and by pushing off a bottom it can make a car for Japan or Korea or Russia or London or any other place in the world using the languages, using the specific search engine for this specific region. For example, the search in China is completely different than the search in Europe. There are no street names and house numbers in China, so we have to kind of give the search based on references. And we developed special engines for each and every market in the world for that. So we have the ability by pushing off a button to create the navigation and the search for each and specific region. In 2008, you shifted emphasis from consumer electronics to the auto and wireless market. What were the challenges there? Well, first, the reason for that. We realized that the world is going into free navigation software and free solutions, and we decided that we are not going to play a game where there is no profit. We realized that the automotive industry is doing navigation only for high-end cars, only for luxury cars, and we believe that this is a mistake. We believe that within a few years, the whole world will change and every car will come with free navigation built in. So we decided to create a new category. We called it low cost and ultra low cost. And we developed, a, for two years, we developed a very unique system that will enable every car in the world to be integrated with navigation solution. And at the beginning, everybody laughed at us and they said, it's impossible, we are wasting our money, we will go bankrupt. We still believed in what we were doing. We convinced one of the biggest car manufacturers to start to try it with us. It was great success. Today we have more than 26 biggest car manufacturers working with us. We have more than 40 projects. We have shifted to date more than 20 million 
navigation solutions to the car industry and we have accumulated orders for more than 30 million cars for the next three years. How are smartphones impacting on navigation solutions? Until recently, the smartphone was a completely different market because car navigation or automotive navigation was very much independent. But today, more and more people like to use their navigation experience with their smartphones into the cars. That is a big problem because the quality that is required in the cars doesn't fit to the smartphones. There is no real quality. But at the same time, the car manufacturers, they realize the need or the request of the driver to have its own experience using his home smartphone. And they came to us and asked us to develop something that will solve this problem. What we did, we developed a very smart solution, we called it NavFusion. The real professional with the quality of the car manufacturers is integrated and built in the car. And there is the same solution, or it looks the same, it's not exactly the same, that goes to the smartphone. So when the guy buys the car, he gets the application to his smartphone, which is branded to the car, and it is fully integrated within the car. So whatever he does with the smartphone at home, it works perfectly when it goes to the car, the smartphone integrates with a specific car and then all the systems talk to each other and he gets all the experience within the car while he drives but he still doesn't miss the needs of the quality of the car. So tell us finally about your plans for growth and your strategic vision. Since we shifted to the new automotive after investing a lot from 2008 to 2010 the results started to come in big numbers. 2012, gross margin increased by 61% over the previous year. We were 300 people at the end of 2011. At the end of 2012, we were over 400 people. At the end of 2013, we will be between five to 600 people. We are expanding very fast. The gross profit increases dramatically. The company will probably double itself in the next year. And in 2015, it will double itself again. David, thank you. Thank you, Nick, for inviting me. It's been a pleasure.